diseases of tuberos and i will see the list of important diseases in tuberos my name is enoch shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology at anamal university um, in tuberos there are more than 10 uh, 15 diseases are there but uh, uh, coming to this uh, these three are the considerable diseases are important diseases the first one is the stem rot which is caused by sclerotion rolsi and the second one is the botrytis spot or wilt or leaf blight which is caused by a botrytis elliptica and the third one is alternaria leaf spot which is caused by alternaria polyantha so now we'll see in detail about one by one so stem rot uh, which is caused by sclerotion rolsi so if you see clearly see so that the initial symptoms are the flaxidity and drooping of leaves we can see here flaxidity and drooping of leaves and the leaves become later stages the leaves become yellow in color so here if you see both the tubers yeah, yes which is which are there inside the soil both the tubers and as well as the root gets infected so the infected leaves if you see the infected leaves which are get detached from the plant and we can if you if you if we clearly see we can see mustard shaped sclerotia black to brown color mustard shaped sclerotia can be clearly seen on a root region so this is the most characteristic as you see in this uh, i mean uh, if you come to stem rot the characteristic the most important is the sclerotia the brown color are clear brown color or black color sclerotia that you can clearly seen in uh, uh, soil regions so later stages what will happen due to this so the plant slowly get uh, weakens and unproductive so coming to the management aspects uh, application of brassicola at the rate of uh, uh, 0.2% at the rate uh, at the rate of uh, 30 kg per hectare can be uh, recommended so coming to the next one botrytis uh, spot or blight or flower spot which is caused by botrytis elliptic so if you see the symptoms if we if you see the symptoms mainly the symptom uh, can be appeared especially at a rainy season so the flowers are you know uh, brown color spots are initially appear small brown color spots are initially appear so the what will happen later stages this small uh, this brown color spots coalesces and the later uh, you know the entire uh, uh, leaf may dry up we can see here the entire leaf may dry up so the infection mainly we can observe in leaves and as well as stalks so coming to the management aspects uh, spraying of uh, uh, carbendazim at the rate of 2 g per liter of water can be recommended and along with uh, uh you know uh, uh, this same treatment the carbendazim treatment can be recommended with you know 15 days interval can be recommended